with 88 asks, Since you two are so perfectly well matched, I'd like to know what the biggest fight is that you ever got in and provide all the delicious details. So this is a bit of a difficult question because we don't really fight. We like to control our emotions and we discuss things rationally like adults. So for example, today we're going to have pizza and I'm going to have pineapple and ham pizza. I thought we were going to have pepperoni and mushroom. It's my favorite. No, we went up agreeing for Hawaiian pizza. But we had Hawaiian last time. I thought we agreed on pepperoni and mushroom. I'm getting pepperoni and mushroom. Oh, you're nuts. You're like Damn it! I did it first! It's so selfish! Hmm. I won that one. I beg to differ. Beg to differ all you want. It's pepperoni and mushroom. It's not, it's gonna be Hawaiian. What? Definitely not! But seriously, we don't eat pizza anymore. Makes us fat. But seriously, I don't want to make people feel disgusted and angry and sad, but we really don't fight at all. The whole concept of fighting is silly to us because we're a married couple. We love each other a lot. We like each other a lot. We're with each other every day. We just know how to avoid making that person upset. I mean, why would I want to fight with Martina? I have full control over my actions. I can control my emotions as well. I never want to hurt her or harm her her in any way so I have no urge to fight her whatsoever. So whenever we know that we're getting on each other's nerves we'll just be like oh my gosh I'm really sorry I didn't mean it that way or oh, okay let's try this again or mm -hmm. okay I don't mean to sound this way like we'll just immediately stop and be like okay something's going wrong here. We really value our communication skills with each other mm -hmm. and I think that's one of the most important things for a solid relationship but sometimes we do notice that we're a little bit snippier with each other which usually is a result of us not having eaten for a while and us being a little bit more emotional so as soon as we feel that way we're like wait a second wait when did we eat last? Oh. Let's go eat some foods. And then after we eat our food and our stomachs are all full, we're like, la 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 I love you, sunshine. I love you too, but you do jum jum. Everyone watching us. Bleh. At home. There are times that we get into disagreements and we argue with each other and that's usually from the perspective of creative manager and management team. Never it, really as husband or mm -hmm. wife. It has to do with like making our movies and having creative differences. These are more like business and professional kind of disagreements with each other but never like relationship kind of disagreements with each other. So when it comes to scripting Music Monday, it's actually pretty difficult because I'll have an idea of what I think is funny. And I'll and have, an, have idea an idea of what I think is funny. And then sometimes we'll completely match each other but then other times we just don't see eye to eye. That's really the biggest problem that we have as full-time bloggers together. It's not just like one person handling it all. We're both trying to balance the work with each other. I feel like we're talking more about like the difficulty of working together rather than any arguments. I'm but sorry we don't guys. get an argument. We don't, we don't, I don't get an argument. I don't know what to say. I've never I, called I just, Martina a bad name at all. Never. I don't even want to. You called me a bad duck before. I called you a bad duck, but those are like funny scoldings. You called like, me a dibble donkey. I didn't like that. Remember? I didn't call her a donkey per se. Like it was like bunny and duck put that together and it sounds like donkey duck bunny donkey he called me a donkey i was so sad for like five minutes so from our perspective it seems like a lot of people's fights have to do with some kind of stresses that they have either with their job or with money or their living situations but none of that affected us because we knew that no matter what happens we're a team with each other and we're trying mm -hmm. to help each other be happy like our number one goal is make sure that the other person's happy so i guess the point that we're getting at is that we want to live in the present mm -hmm. we don't know what's going to happen what happens if one of us gets sick or what happens if one of us gets hit by a car or gets hey hit we're by... living in korea cars try to hit us every day that's right so the important thing is to enjoy each other's company every single day. Never take the person for granted. I always think, what would my life like not be without Simon? And then I get all sad and I get cry and I get teary eyed. Especially when I read zombie comics, they make me so scared and so sad. Martina has like zombie nightmares like every three days. I don't understand what's wrong with me. I'm really scared of zombies. And then I keep watching zombie shows and reading them and then I feel sad and worried that someone's gonna attack you like a zombie and I'll kill that zombie so good. So moral of the story is, if you want to appreciate your partner a lot more, just watch a lot of zombie fiction. And then think about losing that person, you'll be so sad. No. No, that's not the real moral. Zombies. We've got to get more pads and chainsaws and treadmills. We already have like six chainsaws. Treadmills outside of our door. What's a treadmill? When you walk. In. Like you step on your food. Oh, and one last thing I have to clarify. A lot of people keep asking Simon if he feels jealous that I fan girl over top. And truthfully, I ham it up a lot for the videos because I know that there are other people who are interested in fangirling. Now, if you ask me who I would pick as a rapper, I'm gonna be picking Top over Simon because Simon kind of sucks at rapping. Martina hasn't actually heard like the full depth of my rap skills, but I'm sure that I could bust out a lyrical freestyle. I feel a little bit now. concerned about that. Go Simon, go, rap, rap about deers. Yeah, I'm definitely pink top as a rapper. <laughs>
stuff, but for husband material, 100% my Dothraki man. What do you? Huh. Not to mention Simon's like three times the size. So that's it for this week's TLDR. Sorry if you didn't get the juicy details that you wanted, but we just don't argue with each other. Well, we argue over pizza, pepperoni, mushroom, and Hawaiian. If there's a question that you want us to answer for next week's TLDR, leave your question in the comment section below. And don't forget to check out the questions that are already asked, and you should thumb them up so that they get to the top of the page. And then we can pick your questions, like why does Simon have sucky taste in pizza? Why do you have the worst taste in pizza? Everyone likes pepperoni and mushrooms. No, they don't. If they do, Hawaiian can be weird. I only feel like it sometimes. We should a lot of people don't like mushrooms. Mushrooms are fungus. Who wants to eat a fungus? I do. Their fungus are among us. Why don't we do half and half pizza? Oh. My hands are throbbing. My hands are really sore now. It's like, woom, 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 woom.